my name is Danielle Bader, and I'm a psychology student at the University of Maryland. I'm hoping to obtain my bachelor's in arts and psychology and minor in general business at the end of my four years. So today I'm going to be discussing my internship at Prescott Psychotherapy and Wellness. This has been a really amazing experience, so I just want to tell everyone about it and how this has prepared my future in psychology. So just to start, give some background, I was able to find this internship through someone in my sorority. Someone in my sorority had posted a link in my group chat and said that she experienced a really awesome internship and was looking to give this internship opportunity to other students as she was graduating. So after she had written in the group chat, this seemed of interest to me as it fit all the needs of mine. So I'd reached out to her and somehow and got in touch with my boss, Meredith. So the mission of Prescott Psychotherapy is to help young adults and adults themselves navigate their relationship, their anxieties, and chronic illness. So this basically focuses on three major things, which is like marriage and relationships, chronic illness, and anxiety itself. So this has really opened the lens into not just mental illness, but like other aspects that affect relationships or how relationships in general are affected, which has been a really great learning experience. So at my time at Prescott, psychotherapy some tasks I performed were designing seasonal newsletters and in the beginning this was like a what if I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to complete this um, I didn't really have any experience with graphic design or page design so this was a very new experience and it was a bit challenging I have to say in the beginning as I often had to like place text boxes and make sure everything looked very professional so this was definitely new but this was really um, cultivating experience and I felt like I learned a lot from this. I also was able to create different worksheets whether it was on relationships or writing a goodbye letter to a partner just about different emotions relationship checklists so that was really interesting also because it didn't just show me one topic of psychology but also how relationships are impacted in general and how people have to try different solutions to work in their relationships and I also wrote weekly blogs, whether focusing on anxiety, chronic illness, or relationship therapy. So each of these had to be different from one another, just so we didn't repeat ideas, and that's so clients were interested in each different article I wrote. So as you can see on my PowerPoint, I included in the middle like a copy of one part of the newsletter I created, which I talked about. So I thought that was very interesting. And then just talking about some of the goals for my internship learning plan. I hoped in the beginning to learn more about the role of getting a degree in social work, which is what I plan to do now after interning in Prescott Psychotherapy. My boss taught me a lot about the schooling that goes into it, which is much less than getting a PsyD or PhD, for example. So this was extremely helpful. And just building off my internship from this past summer, where I worked at Cognitive Behavioral Consultants, I learned much more about CBT over the summer. I didn't get to sit in on a lot, and neither now, but just creating worksheets and different blogs, I was able to see more into this idea, which was amazing. And then also creating a newsletter was something I hoped to do over my internship, which I did mention before. So I was able to complete all three of these tasks that I discussed in my development plan, which was such a great experience and really opened my eyes. And one of my other goals that I completed through my internship learning plan was just being like more open-minded and being more open to other people's ideas. I kind of went in with a closed mind and kind of have like very set and predispositional ideas about things. So this really opened my eyes and allowed me to see different people's views about different ideas, which was awesome. And then um, my connection to psychology. So I talked about how I was able to learn CBT understanding different mental health disorders because I often had to create worksheets or blogs on these ideas so I really got to see in and focus on different disorders which was very interesting to me and then just seeing how Meredith my boss would offer solutions to her patients whether it be giving them a worksheet telling them to read a blog or just just giving them general advice which I thought was super interesting so I really learned the skills of communication through writing making worksheets confidence which I really wanted to address actually because in my mid-semester feedback, Meredith had given me, um, she talked about how I needed to improve my confidence. She felt that I was doing a really good job, but I did 
lack in this area just because I often asked her if my worksheets or my vlogs looked okay. So she said I should be more confident in my work. So I think through my internship and like hearing that mid-semester feedback just kind of allowed me to go in with the, with the idea that I am doing things right and I need to be more confident in my work and just know I'm doing everything I can. So that was really helpful. I also learned professional writing skills as I had to make the blogs very tailored to a group of audience and along with my newsletter I had to make sure that it was very appealing through the use of graphics and just like the way I talked about different topics making sure that it didn't offend people and then I also learned how to plan worksheets just to make sure they're different and don't overlap um, and then my next stages I plan to obtain my master's in social work now as a result of this internship and I hope to provide therapy to children just seeing how Meredith works with her patients was a great learning experience and it just showed me how I hope to obtain my master's rather than a PhD. Um, she really taught me the how the amount of schooling really differs so I feel like this would fit into my plan of learning very well just because it's not like a seven-year program and she also does very similar work to someone with a PhD obviously different hours and different costs and different ways you can charge people but this was very helpful. So just overall in my internship, I was able to learn a lot about planning and communication along with all of these different psychology tools I learned such as CBT and mental health. So this has been seriously a, such a rewarding experience and I'm so glad I got to be a part of Prescott Psychotherapy.